All right, so it's about um, seven in the morning. I am starting my journey in Needham Market. I'm just walking over to go catch the train and um, I'm going to go today to New Market. This is going to be my final destination, but I'm actually going to um, stop off first in Bursa Edmonds, where I used to work. And um, go look around there for a little bit. Uh, there's the Abbey Gardens, which is really famous. Um, and a few other bits and pieces that I'd like to, to see sort of before I go. Um, but then ultimately I'll end up in Newmarket where there's a big food festival going on right now. Um, but also I want to hit the um, National Horse Race Museum, which is uh, one of the places where I oversaw all of the um, trainees, um, just as I have trainees at my work um, at the museum. So, yeah, um, we'll go there. We'll actually we'll have a little a little bit of a walk around Bury Simmons and then a bit of a walk around Newmarket. <laughs> It's actually great timing. Um, the train heading to um, Cambridge that stops in Bruce Edmonds and um, Newmarket is going to be here in about um, 15 minutes. So I just got my tickets and I'm waiting on the platform here. Um, yeah, and I should be there by like 8 o'clock. Go get a nice coffee in Bury um, and have a little bit of a walk around. And then um, the food festival starts at 10, 10 o'clock. Um, so that might, that's probably enough time to get back on the train and um, do a bit of a walk around before um, some of my friends are actually going to be, um, uh, the folks who do Truly Traceable are going to be there. But I think I might know a couple other people. Um, I had no idea the food fest was going on until yesterday. Um, <laughs> but even though I had planned on going to Newmarket anyways, um, our primary goal is to get a t-shirt from the Horse Race Museum. to Edmonds. Um, it actually feels really weird to be back here. Um, the last time I was here would have been the last time I went to work um, <clears throat> at, uh, at the care home and this walk that I'm doing right now down this way from the train station over there is the exact walk that um, I had to do you know four times a week um, to go to work. So um, we actually are gonna walk right past my work to get to the Abbey Gardens and the cathedral. Um, Bury Edmonds is a really nice market town. Um, quite a lot of uh, wealthy folks here. Um, there's some celebrities who frequent it and who live nearby as well. I know like Ricky Gervais. Um, I think he's got a place around here. Um, just across the street from where I was, where I used to work, um, there's a little restaurant called the Northgate, um, and uh, um, Gordon Ramsay um, frequently goes there. Um, I never seen him, but that's uh, I know some people who who work there, and they said he was there quite a bit, like with his kids. Um, uh, the guy who played Jon Snow and his wife live here um, and they've been seen in weight rows by some of my friends as well um, but anyways it's quite a 
pretty town, but we're just gonna pop right to the Abbey Garden. Well, we're gonna get a coffee first. It's, that's, don't get me wrong, we're gonna get a coffee. Maybe a sausage roll or something, I don't know. Um, and then we'll hit the Abbey Gardens. I'll show you around the ruins, and I'll, sh I'll if I can get into the cathedral, I would like to. So I'm actually like stood right in front of where I used to work over there at the care home. Um, gonna be honest, I don't really want to hang out around it too much because I'm a very recognizable person. <laughs> and I uh, just kind of gives me the willies, you know. <laughs> um, but that's where I used to work at the care home. There, don't get me wrong, there were some lovely staff and everything, and. I made some 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 good friends and stuff like that, but it's just not the right kind of work for me. Um, yeah, but anyways, we're um, that's yeah, <laughs> we're going the, we're going this way to the gardens. So this is part of the abbey wall and the the main gate here, which is. Um, the north gate, I believe, here, into the abbey, is right there. But um, we're gonna head, we're gonna head up the high street this way first, and go um, and find a cafe and a coffee somewhere. And I'll, I'll uh, the high street's quite cool. It's, it's pretty posh, so. Right, so I've secured my coffee. Um, it's, actually, um, it's kind of funny. Um, it's interesting how like the difference between coming out of like very rural Suffolk and then into like more of a posh town like this. I was like, I mean, people are nice. Don't get me wrong. Don't let this be your only impression of people in Burris Emmons. But I was like ordering this coffee, but some obvious regulars came in, and I'm obviously not a regular. <laughs> Um, and like I was mid order and the people behind me started like kind of shouting their over order over top of me I had to like wait for them to finish. It was very it was very odd. But anyways, I'm officially in um, The Abbey Gardens so behind me there that you saw is the cathedral. It is absolutely massive This picture doesn't do it justice um, It's monstrous um, I can't remember quite the history on the I know more of the history on the on the Abbey ruins, but this is the cathedral over there. We are gonna walk over there at some point and I'll have a look at it. And I'll flip the camera around and kind of zoom in. But um, I used to, <clears throat> when I worked just down the road from here, on my lunch breaks, um, I, w I, would, I would leave and I would come and sit right, um, which way is it? Over there, right over there on those, on those benches here. Um, and I would just sit and look, look at the cathedral. Um, this garden is very posh, very well maintained. Um, we'll have a little bit of a walk around. Mm. And I'll show you some of the cool sights.
So, um, this site is like really quite amazing and it's just here in the middle of essentially a park, like, um, and it's not very well known, um, to, to, to people outside of the area kind of thing. Um, it's free to come in because it's just a park. Um, people just walk around like you normally would at any other sort of just, um, green space in in your normal town except for this is um a abbey ruin that w the abbey was i think erected in the 10 hundreds um and then destroyed in the 13 hundreds during big riot um now the abbey as far as i remember was um built in dedication to saint edmund who was previously um king edmund um in the 800, 800s, um, he was an Anglo-Saxon king of East Anglia, um, so this whole area, um, and he was very significant um, for a number of different reasons. One of the main ones being that he had um, he had his he had a hand in the creation of the Magna Carta, which is like mind blowing. Um, so anyhow. Um, there, there's actually a, a decent depiction of this in the um, the show. Uh, I think it's like the La uh, something Kingdom. Oh God, I can't remember the name of the show. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. So basically, the story goes um, that um, King Edmund um, he refused to renounce his. Um, Christianity uh, when the Danes invaded and so the Danes didn't like that very much and they decided to tie him to a tree and um, pump him full of arrows and um, obviously they killed him that way they uh, the, there's actually um, I think one of the phrases says that um, he actually looked like a porcupine um, or a hedgehog which is how many sort of well the prickles on it how many arrows they shot at him um, and killed him and then once um to make sure he was really dead they cut his head off um and threw it in the woods um and that was sort of their um the danes um statement and they wanted um you know uh king edmund to be sort of forgotten about but the legend goes is that when um people were looking to retrieve his head they heard someone calling, like, here, I found it, here, something like that. And when they got there, there was a wolf guarding the head of King Edmund and protecting it. And they retrieved the head and they brought it back to the body. Um, and apparently when they put his head um, back with his body, it miraculously reattached itself. And they saw that as a sign of sainthood. And um, so he became Saint Edmund. Um, and the, these, the abbey is sort of in dedication to him and, and, and his, his life and um, his significance to the area. So really fascinating. There's still more um, abbey ruins around this way that we'll go have a look at. <laughs> So weirdly enough, when I was first moving to this country, I actually almost lived right there. Um, this little cottage to the side of the, the other stone one. It's a little bit washed out. I wonder if it, it'll look better. Yeah, there, kind of see it a little better like that. Um, I actually almost moved in there. Um, hey there. Um, my new friend. <laughs> yeah, anyways, just beyond this hedge is this little cottage. Um, that's attached to this like manor house and um you can see it just there yeah uh yeah i actually did a tour of the place um um because i would have been very close to work um 
thing is, it was just, I think it was about the same amount um, of money to live in a really tiny, it was very tiny there. Uh, it was, I think it was, no, no, it was more expensive to live there than it was in my three bedroom cottage in the, in the countryside. So I picked it, I picked the cottage in the country, but I mean, it would have been very cool to be living in the happy gardens, um, and have this as sort of your back, your backyard. Um, now the other bit over here, um, if I walk this way, they have, um, very cool, um, aviary with lots of, um, different kinds of birds and things, um, and there's a little cafe area and stuff like that. So we'll go see if the birds are about, um, oh yeah, they are, I can see them now. Um, yeah, and it's sort of just a neat little, it's a very strange little little place that, um, like I said, no one, unless you're from here, you don't really know about it. And I mean by from here, I mean like Suffolk, like even like people outside of Suffolk aren't really, they don't really like stop here as a tourist destination, which is really crazy. The biggest thing that happens here is a big Christmas market apparently, and that's when it's really busy. But, um, you know, I don't know why people would have to wait for a holiday to come see this place. <laughs> So I just came out of, um, I went in and out of the cathedral. Um, there's actually a cafe in there, um, but I'm gonna get a coffee somewhere else because they had like a little something going on. Um, I didn't want to disturb them. But um, <clears throat> yeah, they do have like a downstairs where there's like a museum bit to it and stuff. It just, it's not, it's too early. It's not open yet. Um, uh, but it's it is pretty interesting. It's not very large, but it, it's cool. Um, it kind of goes over a lot of the stuff I said, but more about the cathedral. Which, to be honest, I don't really, I can't remember. I did know at some point. Um, but let's get another coffee and not get hit by a car. <laughs> um, we'll stop at a more fancy uh, fancy cafe. I just got a cafe Nero. Um, there's like a chain. Uh, earlier, but it's it should be late enough now that um, that I can get something somewhere else and then get back on the train and head over to Newmarket. Let's go see some horses. <laughs> so a bit of a fun fact, actually, the um, I'm just coming up back to where the train station is, and the the Tesco. There's a Tesco just beyond um, this little bridge. Um, that's where I used to stop after work all the time to get groceries or whatever. Um, and that's where my bike got stolen. <laughs> so I had my bike stolen from the Tesco right here in Brace Edmonds. 
Um, I went into the shop for maybe like five minutes, came back and it was gone. Bear in mind, I have a seven mile train ride, then a seven mile journey home. So that was just, yeah, um, in like at like 9.30 at night um, when it was dark. Um, fortunately, a co-worker's dad drove me home, which was very, I was super thankful. But um, yeah, I actually, uh, I had reported to the police like that night. Um, Obviously, they couldn't find it, and it was they basically told me it was hopeless, but the next morning, I had to come back to work, and um, on my way to work on the train, I um, was uh, searching uh, for bikes on, like, used bikes on, like, uh, Gumtree, which is, like, the same thing as, like, Kijiji back home, and I found it. I found my bike. Called the cops. They went straight to the guy's house. Unfortunately, he had ditched it already, but he did get like a load of shit, um, and he pled guilty to it. I mean, he had a fucking Tesco bag in his advertisement picture, like, it, and a receipt to prove that he was there. <laughs> he had obviously like, bought like an energy drink or something. I don't know, and decided to steal my bike. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was at the Tesco, just just a stone's throw from here. So I'm officially in Newmarket. Um, again, Newmarket is quite posh, especially because, I mean, it's all about horses here. Um, like, all about horses. This is where the big races are and stuff. Um, and we're talking, like, you know, the horses that race here are millions of pounds, you know, per horse kind of thing. Um, um, we're quite close to Cambridge as well. Which, uh, the closer kind of you get to Cambridge, the more sort of, like, um, fancy, uh, fancy it is. Um, so anyways, um, I mean, there's, like, horse tracks and things all over here. Um, there's a few really neat places. I've only been here, actually, a few times. Uh, not, not all that often. Um, I'd always wanted to see a horse race, but I, I don't think I'll get a chance to before I go. But maybe, I don't know, who knows. Um... But we'll do a little bit of a walk around before we go um, straight to the museum and um, uh, I think we'll hit we'll hit the museum first and then um, I'll find that food festival and have uh, a bit of a lunch kind of thing but I mean it's quite a cool town um, and we're bound to see some horses somewhere Yeah, like uh, I said, there's a lot of horses here, um, and they have the right of way. Um, that field over there, it's actually quite a nice walk, but it's uh, at this time of the day it's closed down because it's for the horses. Um, I mean, there's another horse down, walking down there right now. Um, so yeah, it's um, horse town basically. But yeah, uh, this time of the morning. There's going to be a lot of them around because they're going to go get some exercise in that field over there. And um, like I said, a lot of these, I don't know if you could tell, but they're pretty gorgeous horses and they're um, worth lots of money, most of them. Um, uh, but yeah, you have to be quite careful if you're driving around Newmarket because um, the horses get to go where they want and you, you have to um, stop for them. I mean, it makes sense, but... Um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, it's just sort of like the norm here. <laughs> All right, um, we did a bit of a walk around. Now um, I'm gonna go straight to the National Horse Race Museum. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll actually go in, we'll like, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for admission, we'll go in, we'll, we'll have a look at everything. Um, I'll see what sort of like is on their daily schedule. I know there's times where you can, um, you can like, there's like horse demonstrations and things, um, but I definitely need a t-shirt and that is my primary objective today. Um, it's possible I might see people that I know because I have had some, I, I've done some work here, like I said. Um, but I'm kind of hoping they're not there. I kind of just want to like be a be a, a visitor <laughs> um, and have a good look around. There's also an art gallery portion to it, um, which I've never been in before. So I'm in the museum. I'm just in time for a behind the scenes tour of um, uh, the stable block and everything. So um, I've got some sweet merch that they just gave to me. I think they just give it to everybody. <laughs> but um, did get recognized. Um, so yeah, anyways, heading to the stable block now, uh, which is this stable block where all the um, retired racehorses are and um, they're gonna take a couple out. Um, I did get permission to take as many videos as I possibly want. Um, so yeah. So that was very cool. Um, we got a bit of more of a, a lowdown on the history of Newmarket. Oh, I got my t-shirt. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, the whole reason why it's a horse town is because of um, Charles II. Uh, he pretty well established Newmarket. I guess the Newmarket was kind of like their like party town. They used to come here because it was on the main trade route from uh, Norwich to London and back. Um, 
they would stop in new market because there was lots of good hunting and they would like race the run the dogs um uh and um they the heathland here apparently was really good um ground to uh run horses on to do horse races and charles ii was the first guy to um do an organized horse horse race and this is like in the 1600s so um he came up with the first one um i think 1666 and ever since then they've um, been racing horses here and then yeah apparently um well i guess the f he's the only monarch apparently in history who's ever won a horse race but um the lady was saying that it probably it was probably kind of fixed um but he does hold that title, um, Charles II. But uh, anyways, I guess to this day, uh, when the races are on, they're still given the exact same prize that they were given the very first time they ever had a race back in the 1600s. And it's um, a, a, a like plate or a plaque for the, for the city or the town and um, a bunch of sausages. So there's no money one. Um, it's just sausages and a plate, <laughs> um, which is, I think that's hilarious, but, um, yeah, so some of those horses you saw, well, all of the horses at the, um, the museum are retired racehorses, um, but in that little, um, arena where they were jumping, though that arena could be rented out by anyone, so those weren't necessarily retired racehorses, um, but it was really cool and really interesting. Um, they, that whole grounds, um, their grounds were, are the purpose. Oh, those are swifts. Um, the purpose um, of their grounds there is to actually retrain um, either retired racehorses or, or racehorses that um, just sort of didn't make the cut or like didn't want to actually race. Um, and so um, they retrain them and give them purpose and um, other jobs and things like that so that they can sort of comfortably live out the rest of their days um, doing things. And it's, um, uh, she, was, she was saying that it's really not like what, you know, sort of animal activists say like, oh, you know, they just race the horse till it dies or till it's no good and then they kill it or something. Um, that's just not the case. Um, these horses do get to have wonderful um, and fulfilled lives after um, after their days um, racing and um, like the lady was saying you know you on average these animals are you know 500 kilograms they're you know half a ton and if they don't want to race ultimately they're they're not going to you know you can't force a horse um, to do something that it doesn't want to do so um, no it was really interesting it was very informative um, and I got my teacher <laughs> um, I'm now making my way back to the train station um i'm gonna get my um my bike and uh back in needham market get my bike and then ride home um back to mendelsham so uh yeah let's go catch the train oh there's a hello it doesn't want to look at me oh yeah um it turns out i was wrong about where that food festival thing was <laughs> Um, I swear to God, I read it was a new market, but it's not. It's in a different town. Um, so I won't be going to a food festival, but what I will do is I will be in need of market before I, um, ride home. I'll stop, um, at a pub and have a drink and I might order some food. I'll definitely have a drink. Yeah. Um, and maybe get something, get a takeaway. Ooh, yeah, nice takeaway sounds. Sounds real good. <laughs> I'm back in Needham Market. I am um, 
gonna find a pint at a pub for sure sit down have a little break and then um, I'm gonna uh, get on my bike and cycle home um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed um, that was loads of fun it was super interesting um, yeah a bit of a different video but um, I'm gonna make a walking video tomorrow for sure um, but yeah cool time to go home after the pub. 